today we're talking about wine and cheese pairing. The biggest mistake that people make is trying to put red wines with all cheeses on the board. Red wines only work with hard cheeses. They're not good with goat cheese, they're not good with soft cheese, and they're definitely not good with blue cheese. And this is why. Goat's cheese, it's really soft and unctuous and creamy. Also, it's got a white rind. Red wine and white rind equals bitterness, equals metallic flavor. So for a goat's cheese like this, you need a wine with really sharp acidity, with no oak character, which is gonna cut through the richness of the cheese. So here, we've picked a Sauvignon Blanc from the Loire Valley. This is a Puy Fumé, the sharpest and smokiest Sauvignon Blanc from the Loire Valley. When you have the cheese, it's goaty. When you have the wine, it's sharp. But when the two come together, you get sweetness from the cheese and you get acidity from the wine and all of a sudden, you get this momentary, fantastic flavor combination in the mouth. The second pairing is soft cheese. So this is a cow's milk cheese. Again, it's got that white bloomy rind. And be sure to buy nice, mature cheese because these cheeses ripen from the inside out. So if you've ever had a chalky piece of brie, it's because the cheese wasn't ripe enough. This is nice and oozing. But again, the white rind, the bloomy mould, does not go with the tannins in the red wine. It will almost give you a furriness on the palate, which is not very nice at all. Also, the flavours of red wine and soft cheese, they just don't work. Here, we've picked a Chablis. Chablis is a Chardonnay, but no no Chardonnay, produced in the north central part of France, just below Champagne. It's very acidic, it's got apple flavours, with a slightly creamy lactic character, which works beautifully well with cheese. When you have this soft cheese and this wine together, the cheese gives sweetness to the wine, and the wine cuts through the richness of the cheese, almost cleaning up that very mature cheese, that barnyardy character, and you get this lovely freshness at the end of the pairing. For the next pairing, we're on safe territory. Red wine does work with hard cheese. And the cheese I've picked is a very old Parmesan, 42 month aged Parmesan, which is very mature. And because it's mature, it's got these lovely crunchy salt crystals. The wine I've chosen to go with it is a Cabernet Franc based wine from the Loire Valley. This is called a Chinon. Chinon has good tannins, medium weight, and lovely sappy black currant fruit. On its own, the wine is almost a bit raw because of the tannins, because of the fruit and the acidity. On its own, the cheese is too strong. But when you put these two elements together, the cheese softens the wine, softens the tannins, softens the acidity, and the wine cleans up the mature flavors, and you get this wonderful length of flavor on the palate. Finally, a classic, blue cheese and sweet wine. Blue cheese is dreadful with red wine because blue cheese is a combination of creamy cheese and blue cheese. The blue element doesn't work with red wine and the cream gives you that furriness. Blue cheese doesn't work with white because it's far too strong. It will overpower. The same with the, 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 the Puy Fume, it's just too strong for these white wines. So what we need is a sweet wine. One choice is a sweet wine like Sauterne, but we've gone here for a port, a fortified wine, made on the western coast of Portugal in a Porto. This is a late bottled vintage port, which means you don't have to decant it. What you have here is quite strong. It's about 20% alcohol. When you drink on its own, the alcohol seems quite raw. When you have the blue cheese on its own, the flavors just don't go away. It's so strong, so acrid because of the mold. But when you put the two together, the sweet and salt work in beautiful harmony. The sweetness of the port counteracting the saltiness of the cheese, the alcohol is absorbed by the fat in the cheese, and you get this wonderful pairing. So goat's cheese needs a really acidic, sharp wine to cut through the intensity and tame the goaty flavor. Creamy cheese needs a creamy wine, and this Chablis is perfect. Then hard cheeses need a red wine, but preferably one from the old world with lots of acidity and good levels of tannins. And then blue cheese. Blue cheese needs a sweet wine. You could choose a late harvest, a botrytis wine, but a fortified port is a fantastic option. So that was cheese and wine pairing. Still confused? 
download the app using the link below.